All eyes are on the nation's capital tonight as President Donald Trump prepares for his third State of the Union address. This comes on the eve of the final vote in his impeachment trial. News 3's Danny Valle spoke with a local veteran who's attending tonight's speech. And I won't forget the men who died. President Donald Trump is hours away from delivering the final State of the Union address of his first term in office. Pennsylvania Congressman Connor Lamb is one of dozens of lawmakers expected to attend. His guest of honor is a veteran and Southern Illinois native. We're working together to ensure every veteran has gainful employment when they come home. So when they get home uh, from serving their nation, uh, we make sure that check that they, they, they sign is cashable. Will Adig is a Jackson County native who served in the Army and was deployed twice during the Global War on Terror. Adig now serves veterans as the executive director of the Union Veterans Council AFL-CIO, and he says veterans are faced with issues that don't get enough time on the national spotlight. We have a VA healthcare system that's underfunded and understaffed. Uh, we have new issues facing our veterans community that, that's never faced anybody else. We have a ton of veterans that are retiring and, and facing uh, retirement insecurity. According to 2018 estimates by the U.S. Census Bureau, there are around 18 million veterans in the U.S. About 7 percent, or nearly 1.2 million veterans, are living below the poverty line. Adig hopes veterans won't be pawns in the president's speech. Is he going to mention veterans in, in a manner that he just uses us as a prop? Or is he going to mention veterans in a way that really meaningfully uh, supports our veterans when they come home. Uh, and that's what we care about any politician. The mood surrounding the State of the Union can be described in one word, divisive. But Attic believes they can unite, at least for a moment, to talk about those who serve the country. That's one of the things that we really get to see is that our veterans can bring people together right now, especially in this divided time. Danny Valle, News 3. And you can watch the State of the Union address tonight at 8, right here on WSILT.